I'm about to show y'all how I went from this to this. Period. Let's go. Hey y'all. Y'all already know who it is. It's your girl Goldmouth representing Midway 407 Bokeh Sanford, Florida. <laughs> Anyways, I start with my freshly washed hair. I washed it yesterday and I'm gonna start out with some As I Am So Much Moisture. Shout out to the one and only Hairlicious here on the YouTube. The relaxed hair god, okay? So I love, love, love this hair moisturizer. It leaves my hair light and fluffy. It does not wear down, baby. Get into it. Alright, so first thing I do, I go ahead and part my hair, leaving the front part, you know, a little section off for the front. And we got some left in the back. Don't worry about the part. It's crooked. It's okay. That's all right. Ain't nobody going to see it no way. So I'm just going to get it as straight as I can. Because y'all know I ain't got no eyes in the top of my head. So anyway, once I got it straight enough to my liking, y'all, I am going to go ahead and section that off. Now, as I'm looking at my hair, I'm trying to make sure it's, you know, it's at least even on the side where my ears at, you know, so the braids won't look all crooked looking. So, I see a little piece that need to be trimmed. Um, Y'all don't mind the way I cut my hair. It's my hair. I use the um, cut search and destroy method to do my cutting, okay? So, I'm just going to twist this ponytail up and get it out of the way. Now that I got that ponytail up and out the way, I'm going to go ahead and go to the back. Well, this part right here, I am combing to my roots now, y'all. I got to comb all the way till I get those that uh, new growth in my hair. I got to get it detangled. So when I go and part my hair for the braiding process, I won't run into any, you know, snags and tangles. That's why I'm trying to comb it all the way down to my scalp, okay? Just so I can have um, that freedom when I go to part it and braid it. So as you can see, I am parting it in a circle, honey. We're going to go around the world, all right? We're going all around the world in the back, and we're just going to braid it. Uh, I mean, part it all the way to from one side to the next. As y'all can see, I added a little bit more as I am. Now I'm going in with my oil. You can choose whatever oil you like to put in your hair. It is what it is. Okay, so now for the braid. I speeded up this process, y'all, so this video won't be 45 days long, y'all. So just go ahead and start braiding and going on around the world, okay? Y'all don't mind me shaking my hands. Y'all know I'm a three-year cancer survivor, and as a result of taking radiation, I have neuropathy in my hands and my feet and all of that there. So if you see me shaking my hands, it is what it is. Just a little pain. Ain't no pressure, though. We're going to keep on moving. So I plan on keeping this hairstyle up for about four weeks. 
so it won't be no shampooing my hair in between that time but there will be a time when i do um, wash my scalp and i will come back and show you guys how i do that so make sure you click on your notification bell baby so you can be notified of all this goodness coming your way Okay, as I come to the end of this hair, um, don't worry about what it looked like. It's going to be tucked away anyway. I'm going to continue braiding this braid all the way down to the end, and that is it. I'm going to put my oil in, you know, all in around the rear, make sure I get my scalp oil real good. This is just a, a, a random bottle that I mix my own oils in. I think I got a little jojoba oil, a little Jamaican black castor oil, a little dish detergent, washing powder, all that stuff in that bottle. You know what I'm saying? Make your own oil, child. Okay, so I'm just getting the brush, brushing my little my little kitchen back there and so my hair just be feeling like it want to grow down my neck so i just take the scissors and cut it off a little bit that's all because i don't like it. it it'll start growing all the way down so i just trim it up a little bit every now and then i've been trimming those little hairs forever and they just grow back and i just trim them again because it's all good um but that's what it looks like after i'm done on to the front baby you know i got that shining jam in the orange jar and all i'm gonna do with that is gonna put it in my parts and then the way the way I use this, I part my part first. Then I put the shiny jam in there. Then I go back and straighten the part up with the rat tail comb um, to make the part as straight as I can get it on my own head. It's a little process to do it on yourself, but you know, a little patience ain't never hurt nobody. So we're gonna keep right on moving. <laughs> It's been a minute since I done bought y'all a hairstyle now, so I hope y'all enjoy this one. If you do, like, subscribe, comment, comment below. Let me know what's up. Let me know if the music too loud anyway, because I've been trying some new editing, you know, skills. I've been practicing, y'all. So let me know how I'm doing in the comment section below. Okay? Help a sister out. Okay, right here I am brushing my baby hairs towards the front of my face so that way when I go to braid my hair I'm I'm trying not to braid in the baby hairs so I at least have something to frame my face when you know what I'm saying when I get through with the hairstyle If this video too long for you to watch, go on out the door and get you some exercise, child. And when you're exercising, when you're walking on that track or you're walking down the street or whatever, getting your little workout on, turn me on and watch me that way. All right. Hey, and if y'all feel like y'all want to try this style, copy this style, do what Gold Mouth just did. You know what I'm saying? Shout me out. Shout me out, man. Don't copy me and then don't shout me out now. That ain't right.
And the purpose of wearing a protective style is so you can keep your hands out your hair so much, y'all. So then you'll be able to see the length that you don't retain from keeping your hair protected and put away. As long as you do it properly, honey, you're going to see growth. You know what I'm saying? You, you know your hair break off faster than it grow, y'all. Okay, so now that I'm finished braiding my hair, I'm going to add a little bit more moisturizer to it. I'm going to oil it up a little bit, and we're going to make sure it's good and moisturized before I put it away for this long-term protective style. Okay, now this is some hair I got from the hair store. You know, this the curly hair in the purple pack. I don't really know what it is. Then this is some random wig I bought from another hair store a while back, a long time ago. This is a half wig, y'all. Pay close attention. So um, I plaited my hair up in the top. I'm going to use these, not rubber bands, but elastics or ponytail holders I got from the hair store. I'm going to wrap my ponytail. I'm going to leave a little twig sticking up. But later on, you're going to see in a few minutes that I'm going to come back and I'm going to make that little piece that stick it up a little bit shorter, okay? Because it was a little bit too long for my liking. There it go. A little bit shorter. Now, I'm going to add the oil in the front, you know, get it all nice and oiled up there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my hair after this and then y'all going to see what's coming. Stay tuned. Okay, start out with a bobby pin in one end of the hair. I got this hair wrapped up in like uh, two tracks. I didn't stretch it all the way out to a single track, so it's doubled. So I'm going to have to wrap so much. So I put a pin in the actual weave, and I stuck it into my hair. Now, y'all, remember when y'all putting these pins in? When you put it in the first time, it need to go in right. I mean, not on the first try, but if you're going to leave it, don't walk away until it feels comfortable, because if it don't, feel comfortable it's gonna be uncomfortable the entire time you got your hair in this style okay so make sure you put it in so it don't hurt if it hurt take it out try again okay now you keep wrapping that on round and round i did the same thing for two packs see that ponytail i left up at the top don't worry about it keep watching so now i am going to take my half wig right here and i'm showing y'all this comb in the top it got two combs. We got a comb at the top, at the bottom, and it got these two stretchy things on the side. You can stretch right there. Cut them off. Just like that. Get the other one. And you do the same thing, okay? Just take it and cut it off. Okay. So now that you got them out the way, they look like that. Little elastics in there. So they won't snag onto my hair. Now this, that one on the top. I'm going to cut that off too, that comb, because I don't need it. Because I, I'm, I'm removing the comb because I do not want that comb sitting on my hair for a long, you know, period of time. So I'm going to take it off. And I'm also going to cut this tag out just because it wasn't, it wasn't necessary. But I want to cut it off just in case this is going to be in my hair for a while, okay? Stay tuned.
Now the comb at the bottom, I'm gonna leave that one in there because I'm gonna need that one to, you know, put my comb in and out my hair. So as you can see, I got needle and thread, baby. Okay, so y'all y'all to know by now that this happened to get sewed on, okay? So what I'm doing here is I put the the needle into the side of the um wig already on the side. I started on the side, and I'm just gonna start sewing it onto the top uh braid that's in my hair in the back not the front braids but the back braid that goes around the rear i'm gonna just sew it from there start from one side to the next now i only sewed my hair from one side to the next side okay so i did not sew it down at all on the bottom part that's why i left that comb in at the bottom and that comb i'm able to take it out and put it tuck it back in whenever i please the reason why i did that is so that i can have access to my real hair underneath this wig and be able to put my oils and moisturizers in okay Okay, when you get to the other side, bring it over, tie it in a knot, and clip it off. Now, I got this this thing on the package. It say yarn braid, but baby, this ain't no yarn. This is a little metallic string or something. I don't know what it is, but you know, decorations for black hair or whatever. Um, it is, I think it's like nine feet long, the pack say it. And so this is just a long string that you put on your hair just to decorate. So what I did, I tied the string around my hair in a knot. I cut off the excess piece. And I just started wrapping it around. Wrapping it around. Ain't no particular theme that I'm going for. No particular style. I wasn't sure if I was going to do the, all the string or not. But yeah, I ended up using the whole nine feet of string. Okay? Just keep on wrapping. At the very end, when I got done wrapping, when I got to the end, I tied a knot into a bobby pin. And I tucked it away. I cut off the excess and I tucked it into the bun or the wrap or the ponytail, whatever you want to call it, y'all. So that is it, y'all. Okay, let me know if y'all like it. Y'all comment below. And if you try this style, please tag me in your video. Shout me out. Let us to know where you got the style from, okay? And that is it, y'all. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Enjoy the show.